I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into Nintendo's release dates that they just put out there. Like this kind of made a splash because it was Mario Day, but at the same time it was kind of just like, yay, we already knew about Paper Mario, we already knew about Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, didn't really show us a new trailer, does this change anything for 2024? Well, it actually really does change a lot, and Nintendo, they may not always give us what we want, but they ain't no dummy. Nintendo will always get what they want, which is money. So what's going on everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force. These two release dates help shape the rest of 2024 and are very interesting because they tell us something that we've been waiting to hear for a very long time. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me and how you feel about Nintendo announcing these two release dates for the first half of 2024. Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door is coming out on May 28th and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is coming out on June 27th. These dates don't seem very surprising. These dates don't seem very crazy. These dates, though, are very important. I want to direct you back to last year. There was a time where Nintendo decided to announce their Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Major Expansion Pass. And it was weird because there was already a game coming out around that same time, but they said, huzzah, we're bringing this right now. The reason I bring this up is because there was much concern last year that after Zelda, Nintendo wouldn't have much, but as soon as they dropped that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass right in the middle of a month with another game, I said, you know what? Nintendo is cooking stuff. They must have more releases because otherwise they would spread this out. Now that ties into this year when they dropped Splatoon 3 Side Order DLC, a major part of their Splatoon 3 expansion pass and a big reason, the main reason why you'd buy that, in the same month as Mario vs. Donkey Kong. They could have chosen to spread it out. They could have chosen to give it its own slot. They could have chosen to wait even just until April, but they didn't. And that was our first indicator that Nintendo actually has a sizable year planned. But now it's guaranteed. Nintendo putting both Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion 2 in the first half of 2024 tells you and me they've got games to sell us in the second half. Maybe they're not gonna be exactly the games you want, that's for a different video speculating on what it could be, but it's going to be stuff that people want to buy. Because if not, Nintendo would spread this out and utilize those games for later in the year. They would have spread out Splatoon 3 side order to its own month. They would have moved Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion further apart, down the line into the holiday season. You got Mario and Luigi, those sound like great games to fill gaps if you really don't have anything. But alas, Nintendo is putting out Paper Mario in the same month as Endless Ocean, and then Luigi's Mansion 2 right next to it in June. That is all you need to know. Nintendo does have games in the second half of 2024, because even if it's not the dream scenario, right? Even if it's not Metroid Prime 4, and a new Pokemon that has yet to be announced, and a new Donkey Kong game finally getting his original debut on Switch, it's still going to be stuff. Can we all agree that Nintendo will not go July to December with nothing to sell you? Okay, I, I think that's just super safe to say, and we're seeing them use a very common strategy year after year, which is a game per month, a game per month. Now, you could say, well, there's no game in April, so that does potentially show that this year is slower than most. And I'd say I think you're right. I think that's true. I think this year will be slower than most. I don't think you should expect heavy hitter, brand spanking new, epic sequels every single month in the second half of 2024, but because of these release dates, we are clued in that Nintendo is going to release more titles, and I think a lot more titles. Will they have one every month in the second half? Maybe not, but they'll probably have at least five, maybe six games. I'm looking at a game in August, a game in September, a game in October, two in November, and one in December for at least six games. I think that is what we can kind of count on. That allows them to skip July, do one in October. They could do two in October and none in December, but I think six games from Nintendo feels like about what we're getting. And you could sort of guess into what those are. You know, you got two Zeldas, you got a Fire Emblem remake that's heavily rumored. You got a Metroid, you got maybe a Donkey Kong, maybe a Mario Party, maybe like a casual game. You can fill those slots however you see fit. But Nintendo will have to tell us about them. And now we enter the branching path of two possible futures. If you believe that Nintendo is revealing the Nintendo Switch 2 this summer, like has been rumored, ahead of an early 2025 launch, we're getting a direct in April. We're getting a direct in April because there's no way Nintendo utilizes the same block 
to tell you about Switch games and then say, oh, by the way, it's way more exciting. Here's a Switch 2. They will space those things out as they do with their games to make sure you can get excited about each marketing beat. If they reveal Switch 2 in June, I think we follow along with Brazil's rumor and we do hear about the second half lineup in April. And they could just go ahead and reveal the full lineup. They'll definitely go ahead and reveal, I think, the big heavy hitters, the ones that we can pre-order and get excited for. Maybe they'll leave something out. If there is a September Direct, I could see them announcing like a casual game in September to release in December or something of that sort. But there's no way in my mind that they like, well, they did Mario Wonder last year. It was like, ta-da, it's coming out. Mario Wonder was announced over the summer and then released in October. But again, if they're gonna have a Switch 2 presentation, I don't really see a big game getting announced over the summer unless they're going to show off Metroid Prime 4 on Switch 2 and then they say, oh, by the way, it's coming first to Switch 1 to, you know, pay tribute to all y'all who've been waiting for seven years. But that seems to be the most likely scenario right now. April comes and they reveal their big holiday games, their big titles for the rest of 2024, and then summer comes and we get a nice presentation all about Switch 2. But if Switch 2 if that's too long of a marketing cycle, maybe nine months is too long. Maybe it's not coming out in March. Maybe it's coming out in April or May. Dare I say June. Maybe Nintendo does not need to do a Switch 2 presentation in June, in which case then they now have laid the groundwork to wait until June. So today I want to introduce the idea that maybe there isn't an April Direct. Maybe there's a March or April Indie World. And instead, our big Direct is going to be in June. No Switch 2 announcement in June. They save Switch 2 for September, and then that gives us the six-month cycle leading into a March 2025 launch. In that case, Paper Mario covers us for May, and Luigi's Mansion honestly covers us for all of June. They can have that direct at any time in June and still prep us perfect timing-wise for August, September, October, November, December. I'm assuming they're skipping July because Luigi's Mansion is so close to July, and July just, I don't know, it feels like it's a weird month. But maybe they do have something in July, a smaller title. They can always stealth drop stuff like Metroid Prime 2, Metroid Prime 3, Luigi's Mansion 1 on Switch. They could even use Twilight Princess and Wind Waker as games that they sort of just like pepper in like, huzzah, it's here. Because remember they did that with Metroid Prime 1 and with Pikmin 1 and 2. Those games were just out but they help fill the gap and they help provide us Nintendo Switch fans with something to play and it felt like Nintendo was honoring that time period and giving us something new to enjoy even though it was old but it could be new again on the Switch. A June Direct makes more sense pattern wise even though they did skip February. It could easily be a February Partner Showcase, June Nintendo Direct, September Nintendo Switch 2, big announced Palooza. Now it makes you wonder why February wasn't a normal Direct if indeed Nintendo is going to have a pretty full calendar. If Paper Mario and if Luigi's Mansion 2 were coming out in May and June, why wasn't that announced at a February Direct? Why didn't they give us sort of the August-September games and then they could have saved the big holiday tent poles for a summer presentation? I do feel like something internally shifted, and I mean, that's what all the rumors and leaks tell us. Something shifted in terms of their plans for how they were going to release Nintendo Switch 2 and inevitably that shifted and changed the plans for how they were going to announce Switch 2. So whatever cadence they had planned for this year in terms of first party titles, in terms of Nintendo Directs, that all had to get reshuffled once they made the decision to shift the Switch 2 out of this holiday and into next year. No matter what games it was for, what reason they had, why they decided to do it, it definitely altered and caused an earthquake that went through and then said, oh, it affects this, and then this affects this, and then that affects that, and that affects that. But what it didn't affect is Nintendo having stuff to tell us about, having stuff to release. You can choose not to believe it, but them putting Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion in the first half indicates so severely and so strongly they've got a good list of games for the second half. And we should be hearing about that soon. I'd love for it to be April, but at this point, given those release dates, it's very plausible that it could be June. It would be wise of Nintendo to get out ahead of their next investor's call and alert us to what games are coming. They could even do final hype for Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion 2, showing us what's new about those games before their release months. But they just as easily could show that off on Twitter. They could even make a surprise casual announcement of a smaller title, a port, or even a family-friendly game that's coming out and just post that on Twitter. They don't need an April Direct now more than ever. 
they have their games for the first half and they certifiably can wait till June, especially if the Switch 2 reveal is not ready. The most exciting scenario is April Direct, June Switch 2 reveal, but sometimes Nintendo doesn't opt to go for the most exciting. Like I said at the top, they may not always give us what we want, but they get what they want. And for 2024, it's probably more important that they properly promote and hype the games that are coming out on Switch to sell to all those Switch owners, all of us, we know we're gonna buy it, and then take their time and announce the Switch 2 when it's ready. So if I had to put my money on something today, unfortunately, I would probably say June Direct, September Switch 2 reveal. I'd love to be wrong, and I think it's 51% that and 49% April Direct, June reveal, but it could go either way, and I just feel like maybe we should lean on the side of a little more caution, but still be excited about Nintendo's lineup because there are going to be games, and I bet there's six of them. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think we're going to have an April Direct, June reveal, and then all the games the rest of the year? Or do you think we're going to kind of go radio silent for a bit, let some of these titles come out, and then June Direct, maybe a September or October reveal? Which path will we follow? Let me know your prediction in the comments down below. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, Switch Force out.